Alright guys, um, we're just going to go over the, um, the skin weights again. Uh, I'm just going to finish up all the skin weights for my characters. Uh, for the um, each individual section to make sure they're not poking through. Um, and then I'm going to go go run it through iClone to get a better uh, understanding of uh, its movements and uh, where things are moving. So... Um, I may just uh, forward this through, bit through as well and add some music on there um, because I don't believe uh, you got, everyone needs to see exactly what's going on here. Um, we've already under, you understand how the painting works. Um, if you don't understand the painting, how the painting works, it's basically um, this the paint on uh, this bone on the neck or the head is attached to the shoulder. When the head will move, that part of the shoulder will move also. Uh, so we need to remove uh, the colouring off that um, that part there of the shoulder. So now when you move the head, uh, the shoulder should move also. So that, that's how, how you want them. So you go through each bone and uh, make sure oh, I don't want any of these. This is, I don't want that bone movement to affect any of the shoulders here. So we're just uh, removing the colour of all of the shoulders uh, in this section here. Uh, so not there. Oh. And also on the other side, we don't want any any movement there. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, now with uh, this bone here, we do want all of that to be um, how it is because that's going to so there's a small bit there that's not attached and that's probably still attached to the head uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, grab the smooth brush and smooth all of it out so I like to have it uh, smooth out of it so this will all smooth when that one's rotating um, and then over this side just start to smooth them out um, so you may need to uh, depending on where they are uh, just adjust See so with this one here, we want to probably add more heaviness, heaviness here. So to add the heaviness, we just add the plus symbol. Uh, so the plus symbol means uh, it will be heavier and it will not move when that bone when that bone moves. Uh, it attaches itself to that bone and stays there. So we want like heaviness around around the main part here. Uh, we may allow a bit of uh, flexibility for the rest of it. So I'm just going to go heavy here, and then I'm going to smooth the rest of that out around the bottom here. So the rest of that will be smooth, so we can just go here. Um, red, red's, the, red's heavy, so you don't need to... See, there we go. Uh, that looks fine. Now on this one, um, we've got... Okay, so that's... Shouldn't be on that one because it should just be attached to that one. So there's some stuff here we want to just start uh, remove because there shouldn't be anything on those, those inner bones. Um, I don't know if those... I don't exactly know what those bones are. They could be just the muscle bones, but uh, I'm not sure. So the actual bone is uh, this one, I believe. So we want, uh, sorry, probably want a bit there. I'm just gonna smooth, smooth that out around there. Um, maybe when that that goes, we don't want that. Um, probably do all the shoulders. So we'll just just smooth it all out. So that's your um. Just go through and select the bones and smooth those out to where they need to be. Uh, now there also is probably uh, let's see down here on this bone here. See, there's a little bit here. We don't want that moving with the uh, the shoulder of that bone there, so we can just uh, remove that off there. Um, and that's all you need to do for uh, doing your your bones. Um, I'm just going to skip through this now, and uh, I will forward through the rest of this.
Alright guys, um, I've just gone through and uh, uh, done a bit of the mesh, the skin editing, uh, skin weights, um, and I'll send it over to Icline. I'm going to um, well, just, just give it a run through and see how it looks. Now, we got some, there is some mesh issues there, but that's uh, because we've got a, let's send, I've just hidden, uh, what you need to do is hide some of your meshy character because sometimes this is what you have to do to remove uh, some of the mesh underneath because you don't want the skin poking through. Um, and then I'm going to send that back over to Icon again. Um, I like to use Icon, so if, if you're just using CC3, you can go through and do all your things through your um, poses, the checker, but I like having the real-time view of uh, what's going on here. So we got, it's all looking pretty good. Um, the left, sh the, the left shoulder bit looks good. Uh, I've got some issues with the right shoulder, now I may need to just fix that mesh. Um, I've also got some issues with the with the gloves. I need to make um, the top bit of the gloves a little bit bigger um, to push him out with the mesh from the mesh editing tools in Character A3 isn't isn't the best thing to do. So um, we'll see if I can do it another way. But we've got pretty good there with the the cloak, um, the robe not coming through at all. So it's looking pretty pretty good. So let's, um, I'm just going to change change my angle here. Uh, have a look at the how he's walking at the back. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, so those changes that I'm going to make to the shoulders and the gloves, I'll do it at a later time. Um, what I'm going to do in the next video is add the weight maps to to the robes there, so I can look at them. Uh, flowing. So, so it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.